Hey guys, welcome to Digit.in and what you are seeing on your screens right now is about a $100 smartphone and a $20, $30 controller playing one of the most graphically demanding games on PCs and consoles today. And how this is happening is with a service called Shadow. So all you need to do is subscribe to the service, download the app and you can get a full-fledged Windows experience. So let's say you've got Rise of the Tomb Raider on Steam and you want to play it on your smartphone with this controller, all you need is the app, access to the service, and a good enough internet connection. Now, this is not only limited to a smartphone app and a controller out here, but you could actually have a really nice keyboard monitor, a gaming setup like you would at home, and you don't need to invest in a $1,000 or a $2,000 gaming PC. You could just have something as small as that and stream your games off the service. Now, what I've been told is you need a minimum of a 15 Mbps connection, but the stronger your internet connection, the better it is. Again, it isn't limited to something like a gaming setup. You could have an Android TV as well, and you could just run the Shadow app and uh, play your favorite games on your Android TV. Again, the limiting factor being the internet. And of course, another demo out here is about playing the games on a tablet. So it it's actually fantastic. We have seen a few uh, companies try the cloud gaming service in the past, uh, but of course they have had their limitations now. Shadow will actually have to set up their own uh, data centers, their own servers to ensure you get a seamless experience when you play something like this. So if you're sitting back home in India and watching this and saying, hey, you know what, I'm going to subscribe to it, you might just have to wait for a bit until uh, Shadow comes to India. They are based in France, they are in the US and uh, they aren't really telling me when they plan to come to India but I hope it is really really soon because if a gaming market in India needs to grow and you don't really need to invest in that hardware, investing in a good internet connection and software might just be the key. Thank you so much for tuning in guys and for more from the world of CES 2018 you can log on to digit.in.